And after that, we were three for three for dramatic wild card games, and we've got Dan Graziano and Diana Racina standing by. Dan is with the victorious Vikings. Dan, bottom line, after week four, Kirk Cousins publicly apologized to Adam Thielen after a poor game against Chicago. He's not having to apologize to anyone today. I know you ran into Kirk after the game. What did he have to say? Yeah, Zubin, you know, when I talked to Kirk before this game, he said, I'm not paying attention to anything anybody's saying about me. He said, I haven't read a paper or listened to TV all week, and he can't really think about the big picture while you're in it. But as you'll hear, when we caught up with him after the game, he definitely felt like he had gotten a little bit of redemption. Zubin, the people who know are in the Vikings locker room, and Adam Thielen said Cousins couldn't have given him a more perfect ball on that throw that set up the game-winning touchdown. And I talked to right tackle Brian O'Neill, and he said, same guy in the huddle, always the same guy, not rah-rah speeches, anything like that. He said, the only thing I noticed this week is his car was in the parking lot a little bit later than usual on Wednesday. But otherwise, Kirk Cousins, always the same guy. In other words, stay in late, prepping, knowing the task at hand. On the other side, Diana Rossini was with the Saints. We mentioned earlier tonight on the show, Di, that the Saints have now lost each of the last three seasons. Their season has come to an end on the final play. I can only imagine what it's like in their locker room. Take us inside. Crushed, heartbroken, discouraged, shocked. That's exactly the way that these players were describing this loss three years in a row. Many of them were taking the time to reflect how could we be going through this again? When I spoke to some players specifically about why they thought they even just lost this game collectively, what could they point to right now at this at this moment? And they said it just took us too long to get started. It was the third quarter when we finally woke up. We just really never found our groove, which is so unsaints like especially for this offense Alvin Kamara could barely talk to the cameras he was obviously very upset I talked to Michael Thomas about it I asked him what this defense was doing he said look they were double teaming me I knew they were going to do that but we had no answers to it and I also asked him if he was headed to Orlando because you know he was voted into the Pro Bowl and he looked at me and he said you know I, I didn't even think about it to be honest with you because I didn't think I'd be going to Orlando because I thought I'd still be playing with the Saints one other thing to mention from the locale of Orlando to New York, Al River on the head of officiating did weigh in on that possible OPI everybody's talking about. They said New York looked at it. It did not rise to the level of the foul. We let the play stand. I'm sure we haven't heard the last of that. That's Diana Rossini with the heartbroken New Orleans Saints. Everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.